hi guys welcome back to another reading vlog this is actually my second time trying to film this intro i just did a whole recording of this outside we're currently still staying at a family friend's house if you were watching my other vlogs you would know that we're in the middle of moving and building a new house um so i wanted to film my intro outside and sit outside but it is currently winter here and yesterday was like a lovely beautiful sunny day so I thought it'd be a great idea to film outside today but I filmed outside and it was a little bit windy when I was out there and then I listened back to the audio and all you could hear was the wind in the microphone the whole time and then I was trying to find a spot to film in the house but the house is tiny and there's all of us there but once we move into our new house it's going to be very light and bright and lovely and all my books and I can film with my books and everything but at the moment I'm sitting in the car out the front of the house <laughs> um, because I thought you know nice lighting um I can chat for as long as I need to um, but yeah I just wanted to give you a little update of what's been happening in my life since my last reading vlog I have not read anything since uh, my last reading vlog was the challenge of how many books I can read in one week. So the last book I read was Summer by Ellie Smith, which was amazing. Um, go back and watch that if you want to hear my thoughts on those books. But I am going to pick up a new book today because I'm feeling a little bit more inspired and ready to read. I was really sick the past week. I had my period and really bad endo flare up and chronic fatigue and POTS and all those problems. I have literally been sleeping for like a full week almost and just in pain so I just have not felt inspired to read at all and also staying at this house and being in the middle of the winter and just freezing cold and all those problems. But I'm picking up a new book today and I'm going to go inside and read it after I chat to you guys. Um, but this book is Little Weirds by Jenny Slate. I am so excited to read this book. First of all, I love the cover. I feel like this is going to be a very weird, quirky, fun writing style. I feel like it's going to be right up my alley. I've wanted to read this book for quite a while. I found it at an op shop for three bucks, so I got it and I've had it for a while. Yeah, really excited to read this book and give you my thoughts on it. I also just wanted to say that I miss my books so much. Every day I wake up and I think about my beautiful book collection. I think, I don't even know how many books I have. I feel like there's about 500 or more there. And they're all in storage and they have been for months and months with moving. And I haven't had them all together and on my shelves for quite a while now because I've been in between houses. And I just, I've gotten to the point where I really, really, really miss my books. And I just want to sit there and stare at my books and share my book collection with you guys and... I'm just feeling very uninspired to create videos that because I don't have my books with me and just very, yeah, very much in a slump. But once I move into my new house, I am so excited. I have so many video ideas for you guys. I really want to go through all the books that I own. I really want to do redecorating my bookshelves, um, more reading challenges and just getting back into a routine of weekly vlogging and talking about my reading and reading more um so that's exciting um we've only got 10 more days here and I'm thinking this vlog is not going to be a weekly reading vlog because I'm out of the whole habit of that so it's just going to be a little like lead up until we move and also this week on Friday so today is currently Tuesday and on Friday I have a bit of an update for you guys. So if you've been watching my videos for a while and also following me on Instagram, you would know that the reason my name Paperbacks and Daisies it has the daisies in it is because I am a florist um, and I love daisies and I just love flowers and I was kind of like posting about both of those things at one point and now it's just like mainly books. I haven't really been working for quite a while now, but I'm still employed at my florist. I've been like slowly reducing my hours because of my health. And on Friday is sadly my last shift as a florist at this job and probably as a florist 
forever. I've slowly realised over the last two, three years that floristry is just not a sustainable career for me and the health issues that I have. I've been getting so burnt out as a florist, my health is getting worse. What a lot of people don't realise is that floristry is such a physically demanding job. We wake up at really, really early hours, we have really long shifts, we are so busy during Mother's Day, Valentine's Day and any events like weddings and stuff and it just was taking such a awful toll on my body to the point where I'd only work an hour and I would just crash. Um, it was just getting worse and worse and worse. And I just can't sustain that anymore. Like I'm going in on Friday for like a three hour shift and I'm going to crash so bad because of it. But I really wanted to have a final shift to say goodbye to my floristry friends. And it's bittersweet because I, I do love floristry and flowers, but I am also really excited and happy to move on from it. I feel like it is time. And I do really think that like I do want to do multiple things with my life. Like floristry was really fun and was right for me at the time. But I do have a lot of hobbies and interests and passions that I want to explore in my life. Um, so that's leading to my kind of exciting update. I have applied and been accepted for a course. So I thought now would be a great time to study because I am at home like a lot of the time. And I have a lot of free time because I am sick. So I have applied and been accepted for a course in professional writing and editing. So I'm following my like little dream of writing and um, being in the book publishing industry. Um, I'm not sure where it's going to lead me. I'm just more doing it out of interest at the moment and dipping my toes in the water. But I do love writing and I really want to share my whole experience with you guys of going into the course and everything. So I'm starting that next year. So I'm going to have a bit of the second half of this year to prepare myself and just work on my health because I'm at a pretty tough place at the moment but I'm doing a short course like online course for the second half of this year just a, I think it's like a five week course just to like get myself in the writing groove and explore some writing techniques and stuff and then I'm going to jump into that course next year and I'm going to do it part-time because my health is very up and down but I'm very 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 excited to share that journey with you guys and just to dive into it and write and yeah it's also extremely terrifying I get really bad anxiety and get really overwhelmed and stressed in social situations, especially ones that are like around studying and learning. Um, but I'm trying to push myself and work on that. So yeah, I'm really excited. But I think that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. I think that's all I covered in my previous recording of this outside. And yeah, hopefully by the end of this vlog we have moved into our new house which is just so exciting and amazing i'm so excited to move in finally and have my own room again and have my, all my own belongings back and all my books and yeah it's just gonna be great and the house that my parents have been working on is just so gorgeous and beautiful and i can't wait to share that with you guys when we move in it's gonna be a bit of chaos it's not gonna be completely finished so it's still gonna be madness and chaos on these vlogs for the next few for the next couple of vlogs Happy Wednesday. I went to the library today and I was just checking out the new library. Our local library has just moved to a new beautiful building and opened up bigger. Um, and it's quite big for a small country town. It's still quite small, but it's got some good books there. And I ended up borrowing seven books from the library, which is just a bit unhinged, but I've just been really missing my books and missing new books and just been staring at the same collection of books for the past few months um, and been feeling a bit uninspired to read. So I got a collection of seven books um, and I can borrow them for a month. So 
I thought, why not? These are all books that I either have wanted to read for a while, I thought looked interesting, or authors that I've liked. So I just wanted to give you guys a mini library haul. The first one is Weather by Jenny o Offill. I have heard a few people have read this one and her other book, which I can't remember the name of. This book has praise from Ocean Wong and Max Porter on the back. It just seems like something that I would really love. It says in the blurb that it's about Lizzie, who is a librarian, and she uses her job as a librarian to practice her other calling, which is an unofficial shrink, which sounds very funny and interesting. Um, so I've started reading this one today, and I'm still also reading Little Weirds. The next book that I got, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce this right, but it is Dukka La Orange um, for Breakfast by Karina May. This book is set in France, I think it's in Paris. It sounds like there's a lot of drama and dating and a lot of stuff with exes and online dating and it sounds really interesting and I've been wanting to read this one for a while and I loved the cover. Um, so I'm really excited to read this one. I also don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce this one right either. <laughs> um, but this is Welcome to the Huanan Dong Bookshop by, it's translated by Shanna Tan and it is written by Huang Bu Ryong. This one seems like a really cozy translated fiction about a bookstore. I think it's about a lady who's burnt out in her nine to five job and then her life falls apart and she decides to follow her dream opening a bookstore and just the happenings and the running of the bookstore. Um, so I'm really excited about this one. I love translated fiction and this one's translated from South Korean um, and it just sounds really really good. The next four follow a bit of a theme and it wasn't intentional it's just um kind of happened they all either have some word about water or the ocean in their title or they have water on the front cover i feel like i'm drawn to books about water and writing about swimming and stuff um not that these necessarily are about swimming but i just draw to books that look like they are this one is the odyssey by lara williams i don't really know much about this i have had this on my tbr for a while i think just because of the cover but I think this is a literary fiction set on a ship, like a cruise ship, about a girl who works there and just all the drama and everything that she is dealing with. Um, it sounds really interesting. This one is The Sea of Tranquility. This is a sci-fi and I have read nothing but good, amazing reviews for this one. I have just borrowed this as an audiobook as well, so I'm going to read it and listen to it. Um, and I'm really, really excited. I've wanted to read this one for a while. So it's also following the sea, ocean, water theme. We're loving that at the moment. The next one is The Water Cure. I just love the cover of this one. The um, blurb sounded really interesting. I've never actually seen this book before, but it was long listed for the Booker Prize in 2018. Um, and I'm going to read the blurb out to you guys. So it says... You are a girl, your body is vulnerable, men will break it if they can, and out there they absolutely can. Bodies must be controlled in order to be safe. Suffering will prepare you for the worst. The cure is nothing compared to what you've been spared in the sickness. It takes a lot of love to hurt you like this. Now come outside, it's time to play the drowning game. I think this might be in a sort of dystopian kind of literary fiction genre, and a bit feminist as well, um, and I'm just really interested. The blurb is really intriguing. And the last one that also has border on the front cover is The Fogging by Luke Horton. I was really intrigued by the blurb of this one. It's also another one that I have not seen before and it's about two people who go on a trip to Indonesia and one of them gets a panic attack on the plane and all their like secrets start unfolding in some way. It says here that the fogging dives deep into what it means to be strong when your foundation is built on sand. But yeah, these are the books that I borrowed from the library today. I am trying to use the library a little bit more this year because I have bought so many books and I also just don't have access to my books at the moment. So it's nice to have a little bit of a dopamine hit feeling like I've bought these books when I didn't have to pay a cent for them. I'm really excited to read all of these. Um, I feel like it's put me back into a bit of a groove and just excitement to read again. I'm about 30 pages the way through this book and I am enjoying it so far. I don't really have much to say on it yet, apart from it seems like it's an autobiography of by Jenny Slate. So it's touching on her life and it's just starting right from her birth. And that's all I really can grasp of it so far. I'm going to keep you guys updated on which books I read of this. I might not even get around to reading all of these um, because we 
are moving at the moment and life is very hectic but I just really wanted to borrow some books today and bring myself some joy. Hi everyone, today is Friday. It's been a little while since I last filmed an update on this reading vlog. Today is technically the day that I was counting down for us to move into our new house. And as you can see, we're still in our friend's house. We're not moving in until Monday now because a lot of the house is not ready for us. There is no shower working, there's no toilet, there's no running water. Um, we're, def we're still moving in to the house when it's not finished, but there will be at least one shower running, toilet and all the necessities. Um, but the kitchen won't be done and some of the rooms won't be done, but our bedrooms are getting finished today um, and they're looking gorgeous. So I'm very excited to move in, but just a quick update on what I've been doing the past week. I was meant to go into the city to do my last shift at the florist um, a few days ago and I ended up having a really bad cold. There's a cold flu going around in my family. Everyone's had it and I had it but it only lasted about two days so I got over it quite quick but that happened to be right when I was going to be doing my last shift at work so I didn't get to go in and say goodbye to everyone. So I'm going in tomorrow because I need to drop off something and I also just want to say goodbye and hello to the girls and catch up with them. Um, so I'm going in tomorrow and then I'm staying down in the city at my brother's place and then the next day is book club so I'm really excited to see the book club girls and then when I get back then we're moving into our new house so it's all happening in the next few days. It's very exciting. I'm so so ready to be moving. Um, I just want to see my books so bad. I just want to see all of my belongings, set up my room, just have my own little space again because it's been so long since I have. And then an update on what I have been reading. I finished two books over the past week and a bit. Um, I finished Little Weirds and Sea of Tranquility. I was quite underwhelmed by both of these books. I would probably say my favourite out of the two was Sea of Tranquility. This is a sci-fi. It has a lot of time travel, like weird concepts of time and back and forth and it's really cool. Um, I just wasn't like that invested in the characters but the ending was definitely very satisfying. Um, it all wrapped up really nicely and I did like some of the characters. Um, I just wasn't like super amazing. I gave it about a 3.5 stars. It was an enjoyable sci-fi read which um sometimes I'm in the mood for so it was good but yeah. <laughs> and then Little Weirds disappointed me a little bit. I think I ended up giving this three stars. I liked Jenny's writing style in some of it and in other parts I didn't. I just felt like especially towards the end it just dragged on and I just wanted it to finish um there are some essays and chapters that I have like marked that I want to go back and read because they were beautiful but some of them are just just felt boring it's a memoir about her life but it's very abstract which I do enjoy abstract writing but I just didn't really resonate or connect with some of her writing style and I just found it a bit over the top and yeah i would still recommend this book if you are a fan of quirky writing and memoirs um i feel like it could be up your alley um i think it was just a little bit of a miss for me i also may have just not been in the mood for something like this um but yeah that's my little review of little weirds and currently i'm not really in the middle of anything apart from small rain which is a net galley arc that i'm reading about a man that's been admitted into hospital during the COVID times um, and I'm still enjoying that one quite a lot. I think I'm just working my way through that one really slowly. But yeah, that's all I have to say today. Just been reading and plodding along and 
waiting patiently to move into our new house.